Margaret and I am going to attempt a little ride along today. Look at that glare. What is that? What is that? Um, so I, I can't get that straight. <laughs> that glare is distracting me. So we went to cowboy breakfast with the boys this morning and yes, they do call it cowboy breakfast. Um, it was like a, you go with your kid to school for breakfast. Anyway, it's a fundraiser. So then this morning there's a church garage sale that I'm going to, and I wanted to be there sooner, but I didn't, I didn't get there sooner. So I'm going now. I will let you know what, what I find. Okay. So I'm waiting at the stoplight. And Randy and I had a talk this morning about ROI and we talked a little bit about uh, this mug that just sold last night that I picked up for I don't know maybe a dollar or maybe two uh, that sold for $65 so I'm really excited to share that on the next sales video um, I shared it with Thrifty Teresa but I'm not sure if it has come, in, come out yet um, but we we had a really good conversation about ROI and I get comments sometimes on videos um, from people saying, you know, wow, that seems like an awful lot of work to do to get, you know, maybe five or ten bucks. Um, but honestly, it's not. I mean, we he and I talked about, you know, if it's a mug, I, I have no problem getting a five or seven dollar profit off of it or more, like this this one. Um, yeah, if it was something that, if it was an item like an electronics or something that I was going to have to clean and test and do all of like a lot of work for to make five bucks and no I'm not going to do that ah, I changed <laughs> okay so this church garage sale I went back and looked at the the listing on the garage sailor app and it was for moving boxes church garage sale it says and then in the thing moving boxes and then there's like the prices for different moving boxes which I did not go in and look at carefully but when you think church garage sale I ask you so yeah, I am now going to go look for actual garage sales uh, because there's not any more really listed on my garage sale app for my area and I don't have time to drive about, um, you know, drive far off because we are going camping this weekend so I've got some camping prep to do. So, I spoke too soon. I drove all around this church, there were like three cars and then as I was leaving there was a lady walking into this little side door and I noticed she was carrying some bright green like um, poster paper and so I was like excuse me is there a garage sale here you know and she says oh yeah there is there is they hadn't put the signs out there was nobody here basically and the thing on the garage sailor that's why I thought why well, just says moving boxes and said prices for moving boxes so I thought that was really strange so I went in and there was like one other lady in there so yay I love it when I get there early um, and I've got some jewelry. I'm so excited. Um, but what I'm going to do is when I get home, I'm going to do a periscope because I'm trying to be better about periscoping. So I'm going to periscope the hall and then I'll tack it on here to the... Now I'm into doing this movement. <laughs> I'll tag it on here into the video so if you see me or hear me talking to people that you can't see what they're saying um, because in Periscope people can talk to you so I will try to make sure that I tell you what they're saying okay and who they are randomly okay hey everybody <clears throat> excuse me how's it going I am Periscoping again yay and I'm also looking for my breath spray because, hey, Greg, I was hoping you'd pop in. How's it going? Hey, Cody. Hey, Bling. Oh, I missed it. Oh, hey, hey, Harlan. Hi, Tanya. Hi. Uh, hey, Blue Eyed Mom. Hey, Bling Gnome. Hey, Jerry. Hey, Sociable Nason. Oh, that's Gerson, right? Harley Woman. Hi, Picker Army. Hey, hey, I went to that church garage sale. Hey, Cody. How's it going? Tanya asked where'd I go. Hi, VA Picker. Um, hey, hi, hi, hi. My sales rock. Um, I was, well, I started watching, Greg, I started watching your video with um, Steve yesterday and I didn't get to finish it, so. But I'm gonna spray this in my mouth real quick. I've been drinking coffee. Hey, Lauren, how's it going? Hi, Titans mom, good morning, good morning. Yes, I got lots of stuff. Well, not lot, well, yeah, lots. Okay, oh, thanks, thanks. <clears throat> I'm looking to say, hi, my sales rocks. We were just talking yesterday, weren't we, on, on Twitter. I'm trying to get on Twitter better. I'm trying, I'm trying. Um, so I've got to figure that out. Okay, so I'll give you a hint. This had jewelry all in it. Good morning, Sh Cheryl. I think I, I have trouble getting the names and the, the tags. Parkland Diva, 
Cheryl. Like trying to remember whose real, their real names are. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. It takes time. Hey, English Bulldog. How's it going? Hey, Alice, lo Alice loves to bake. Okay, let me show you what I got. Marissa. Marissa. Okay. So, I'll show you the not jewelry stuff first. So, here's what I see. Spy versus spy. It's an IQ test. Uh-oh. <laughs> Spy vs. Spy mug, and I grew up, I love Mad Magazine, and then, so here's the back, Mad Magazine, and this is from the International Spy Museum, which I would love to visit, by the way, I think that's in D.C., yeah, it's in D.C., Dawn, Dawn, isn't that an awesome mug, and I just gotta tell you, I texted Tanya this morning, I've sold three mugs in the last, like, 12 hours, and one of them was, forget this, $65, I gotta, um, I gotta ship that out today, isn't that crazy, I can't wait, Trying to get work done. Oh, thanks for inviting people to come watch, Greg. Thank you. Yes, 65 bucks. I, I can't wait to show you in the uh, in the sales update. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Okay, so then here, I also picked up this. The mug was, it was from a brand called Toast and Marmalade. And it was a Emma, the, I think it's the lady that designed it. That's the popular thing. Emma, I can't think of her name. But I just pictured it. Picked it up randomly. Thank you, Tanya, for sharing. Hi, all, oh gosh, all time, all time seller. How's it going? It's when they're, all the words are squished. And I'm going to be putting this, I'm doing a haul video. So, Bolo for Conan O'Brien late night mug. Um, you're going to stalk my sold listing. I sold it on eBay. So yeah, it's on eBay. Um, I watched j and show. Oh yeah, I love j and a. They're awesome. Thanks mom to live. Thanks for sharing. So I, I am going to be putting this on the end of my haul video. So people, I've already said, oh, you're going to see me talking to people that you don't know who I'm talking to. So, oh well. <laughs> so I picked up this bird. Bird. <laughs> Whoever said you were trying to get work done? I missed the name. It isn't, it isn't happening this morning. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Lauren, for inviting uh, people to come watch. Yes, this eagle. And I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to put this in my antique booth. So this is going to the booth. So that's that. Uh, the spy versus spy. Hey, Luke, we got another Australian in there. Cody, are you still in there too? Luke is from Australia, and Cody is too. He makes YouTube videos. Do you watch him, Luke? Do you, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Luke, do you watch um, Cody Orgle? He does good videos, and he's down under. <laughs> I picked up two patterns. Oh, I know. What am I doing? And they're cut. Oh, my gosh. No bad words. We don't like the C word here. Uh, <laughs> I'm the only one that gets to use the C word here. So this is one pattern that I picked up, and it's cut and everything, but I figured the... Um, the cover art was awesome. I know, right? I know, right? Oh, okay. Awesome. As long as it's a, <laughs> he may be giving, you know, that's the thing. Like some people like to take the piss out of each other and maybe they're really friends. Cause I know I've got some friends, like I call Tanya T-Bone sometimes and you know, and, and yeah, I don't go to, I don't go say other words, but anyway, so then this is the other pattern. <laughs> they could be best friends for all I know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so yeah, this is the other pattern. And the only reason I picked them up, I mean, because the, the, the patterns are all tattered and a mess. I'm taking a chance on them. Thanks for all the hearts, you guys. Because look at the, just look at the graphics on them. That's why I picked them up. Look at her. <laughs> right? I know. It's like a sleeping jacket or like a dressing jacket or something. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Vincent. <laughs> you have to watch it later. <laughs> Don't miss class. Very important. Don't miss class. So anyway, those are, I picked them up. Yeah, they're cut. They're messed up, but I just loved them. I couldn't leave them behind. Uh, it's my name you call your mates in. Oh, okay, okay, that's good to know. <laughs> okay, now for the jewelry. So I this was all jewelry and then some, but I dumped it to share with you. And I spent eighteen dollars. I may pull Jenny. <laughs> so I I spent eighteen dollars. How much? Our malls are seven. I missed it. Oh, that's okay, Luke. I, I have some friends that like to use their potty language, too. And I do, too, just not in mixed company. <laughs> so the, the patterns were 50 cents a piece. Um, <laughs> 50 cents a piece. The mug was 50 cents. I spent 18 bucks for everything. So here we go. You ready? We're diving in. We're diving in. Here we go. Where's Angie? I haven't seen Angie in here. Okay, so I picked this up. Uh, it's missing some stones and I didn't catch it right away, but I was, 
I was the first one to hit the jewelry, so I was like hurrying before all the people came. Um, is she really? She better not be. <gasps> oh, Angie. All right, let's talk about Angie for just a minute. Isn't she nice? <laughs> Even if she's Periscope. Because now you guys have to choose. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Vincent. I'm glad you like the munch box unboxing. We had so much fun. We had so much fun. No, no, no. It's okay. I'm not mad for real. <laughs> so I picked up this, and I think because it's missing some stones, what I'm going to do is uh, put it in a jewelry jar to sell. So it was cool, though. It would have been really, like, blingy. Hey, Boston Picker, how's it going? So that's one thing. And then I picked up this. It's like a leaf filigree you can see through it and all that where'd my magnet go where'd my magnet go Urgh. um yeah so most of these there's there's some real stuff in here but then some of it's not some of it I thought well maybe it's like um blingy that's right so it might be gold plated on there because they do that sometimes but you can see it's yeah not so but it's pr still pretty still pretty and then there is a brooch Tanya sheets <laughs> oh no, Vincent. He, he, Vincent is saying that we made that uh, munch pack video ten times more dirty than we we should have. I think we made it. It needed to be like twenty times more dirty. I mean, I I don't know if you know this about me, but my brain goes to the gutter like ninety percent of the time, and I can't help it. I know it's juvenile, but somebody will say something, and I will just like start snickering. Like I can't help it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I could have gone so far with that meat stick. Don't even get me started. <laughs> I can't help it. I can't help it. Okay. Moving on, right? Okay, so here's this brooch that I picked up. And it's got this little, like, love scene in the middle. <laughs> I know, right? I know. <laughs> he said, Tanya, I was cracking up. You took a nibble and I shoved the whole thing in my mouth. Yeah. I should be the pervy thifter thifter. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, total Beavis and Butthead. It, yes. <laughs> so here's this brooch. Pretty much most of the jewelry was about 50 cents a piece. Um, and now this one has that older look to it. It's got that love story scene in the middle. But from looking at the backing and looking at the fixtures right there, I don't think that it is, um, you know, I think it's just like reproduction vintage. It's not really actually vintage. Vintage. But I have another brooch in here that I think might be vintage, vintage. Okay, so here's a really pretty bracelet. I'm trying to get it to focus for you. Hey, Blue Eyes Mom. So isn't that really pretty with all the enamel and everything? And there is a mark, but I don't know what it stands for, what it is. It's like an LV or something like that. I don't know if you can see it. Or a VC. It's there. So I'm hoping that like Angie or Karen or somebody who knows jewelry can say, oh yeah, that's from so-and-so, but it's so pretty, isn't it? Oh my gosh, no, it's not. It wouldn't be. No, it's not that same, I wish it was Louis Vuitton, oh my gosh, but it's not quite. Can you see it there? L, C, L, V? Oh, I'll have to look it up. <laughs> I don't want to get my hopes up, but isn't it? It does look like really nice quality, right? Costume jewelry. Super pretty. Liz Claiborne, maybe it's Liz Claiborne, maybe. <laughs> Found a Louis Vuitton belt dumpster of a sweet, sweet. Uh, and then I picked this little, you know, sand dollar pendant up. It, it's not magnetic, but I don't think it's silver. Da ding There's that. Okay, here. I still have more to go. Hang in there. Yuval, are you still there? Everybody still there? I see hearts. I see hearts. Good, good. And if you're like, Margaret, this is long. You can come back later and watch it. Or I'm going to put it in the haul video. So, screw it. Sell it as Louis Vuitton. That's right. Throw all the caution to the wind. Just, <laughs> no. Send, right? I, yeah. So, the, and there were some earrings, but I don't think I picked them up. I think I only found one. Then these need to be cleaned up. <laughs> but I like to pick up nautical stuff. Nautical. So there we go. There's those little earrings. And they're just like tin or something. Aluminum or tin or something like that on the back. I'm saving some of the good stuff. So then these earrings were really pretty. They're like a bird. What is that? Is it like a bird or something? Yeah, it's a bird with some 
flowers. I just thought they were different, you know? And they hang on like sideways like that. Where'd my magnet go? I didn't I didn't check these. They don't look they don't look like they no, they're not any. Yeah, they're good. Hunger games, right? They look kinda like Hunger Games with the bird. Well, I don't know. They're different. I don't see any markings. But they've got that enamel and it goes through to the other side as well. I wonder if that's the correct side. Maybe that's the right side. I don't know. They're cool. Those are cool. Okay, next. I got this. It's a money clip. Just love the way you say bur bird. Bird? Not how you say it. Bird. 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 <laughs> so here's a money clip. Um, this is a fossil money clip. And it's got a bee on it. Oh, and it opens like such. And closes like that. So there's that. That is a money clip, right? It's like a wallety, money clippy thing. Right? I think. And then... I picked up an elephant brooch because elephants, you know, people collect elephants. So there's that elephant brooch. And then I picked up this ring. It just, I don't know. It's adjustable, so I don't know. It's that cloisonne style, right? And I always pick up the cloisonne, cloisonne stuff. Hi, all-time seller. Welcome back. There's that. There's that. But it has no markings either. Oh, wait, does it? Yes, it does. Ah! Where's my thing? Where's my loop? Hang on. Hang on. Oh, where's my loop? Hi. Loop. There it is. How can this have a marking? Look, it's totally adjustable, but there's something written in there. I'm going to see. I'm going to see. Here we go. I'm going in. It's... No way. It says 925. <gasps> it does. It says 925 on it. Okay. So we'll see. Maybe it's... But who makes a sterling silver adjustable ring? It's not magnetic. Okay, cool. Cool. I can test it. I have a, my metal testing kit. But, okay. Awesome. And then this one I thought might actually be... It looks like a little bracelet or anklet or something. But then it's not, you know, I, I tested a little bit with my magnet and there it goes. Yeah. May, oh, that's true. It might. Cause it is closing a, are you talking about this one? Right? It might have some. You're right. It's pretty. It's pretty. So then that's cute. I mean, that, that will probably end up, you know, going in a jewelry jar or something. Cause I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So next, this one's pretty cool. Look at it. It's a snake, sort of. You know, it's got this. It kind of looks like a snake, right? That's what I thought. Hi! Pyrene creation. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. But this one has marked Roman. Now, what I want to know... Hi! Is Roman a brand of costume jewelry I've never heard of? <laughs> Did I? Oh, good, good. Hey, Daughter of a King 78. So, yeah, I don't know. Like, is, is Roman a brand that I just don't know? It looks like really nice, high-quality costume jewelry. It is, it is. Okay. Um... But yeah, it looks like, I'll have to look it up. I just thought that looks like, nice. It looks nice. It's got good weight and all of that. And then I picked up a bangle. I'm a sucker for bangles. Hello. And this is a Monet. Monet is a brand, a custom jewelry brand I know. Monet. Cool. Got some more stuff. Got some more stuff. I'm saving some of the better stuff for the end. You have some Roman earrings? Okay. I'll have to look it up. There go the cats. Got another elephant. This one's got his trunk up, so that's good. So, and I know some of them are just costume jewelry, but I always pick up funky animals like elephants or fox or owls, just funky little things. I had another one. Here we go. This is the owl I picked up. There's the owl. And he's ma he's a magnetic sort of uh, opening locket type of thing. And there's that. And again, I know some of these are just, you know, could have been bought at Claire's for all I know, but I'm a sucker for them. Thank you for the purple hearts. Purple hearts. And then again, I didn't have my magnet with me, so I was just kind of grabbing stuff that looked like, so this was in there, and I thought, oh, maybe somebody threw it in there just because some of the stones are missing, and my brains are like, oh, maybe it's real, and no, it's not. So anyway, you have the heffalumps now for the woozles, right? <laughs> so I am probably going to put this in the jewelry jar. <laughs> Lord. 
And then I picked up this one as well. This is alpaca, Mexico. It's a cuff. I love selling. It's kind of small. Look how small it is. Oh my goodness. And I have fairly small wrists. So it may be a child size or somebody. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Nick Hills just uploaded a video. I'm getting the notification. <laughs> right? Okay, look at this one. This one's cool. Look at this. So here we have this brooch, and it's like little coral beads. And then these are some kind of shell. Have you got a five inch wrist? Must be a diameter. <laughs> That's tiny, right? Isn't it? Is that tiny? Anyway. <laughs> So here's this brooch. I don't see any maker's names or marks or anything. I just thought it was so unusual. So I picked that up. That's pretty. And then almost done. We're getting there. You're hanging in. Again, I picked this one up. Teeny, right? I picked up this little uh, lapel pin. Um, also because I didn't have my magnet with me at the time. And I have picked up these before that have been gold. So I was like, well, you know, it's 50 cents. I'll take a chance. Okay, that is tiny. I'm looking at my wrist like, what is my wrist? Now I want to know. I don't have anything to measure it. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> like, let's find out. See, because I have a fairly small wrist. I have a six-inch wrist. Here we go. Six. Oops, there, it went away. <laughs> Bonus. Six. Where is it? It's right there. Six. Oh, you can't see. Okay. Take my word for it. Okay. Because that's what I was thinking. I was like, I have a pretty small wrist, but it's still pretty tight on me. Okay, this brooch. Now, here's what I think. I think this one is fairly old. It doesn't look so much. I mean, this silver looks like it's been treated. You know what I'm talking about? There's that silver that looks like it's kind of been treated like powdery. I There's a word for it, and I can't think of it. Um, hey, Diana, joining. Thank you. And then take a look at the, the clasp on the back. So the clasp is this type. And that generally means, you know, is indicative of it being a little bit older. Kind of like a underneath, right? Type. And there we go. And then this part. So we'll see. We'll see. Oh, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Nine inch wrist. Pff, wow. <laughs> right, I know. <laughs> Never wondered. So yeah, so I have to do a little more research because sometimes when they hook under like this, if they're really older, the, the pin part sticks out further. But we'll see. And then the back has got this like, kind of like splotchy blue, you see. That's pretty neat though. So we'll have to do a little more research. We're all shapes. Yes, we are. <laughs> Round is a shape, right? Y'all have seen that. <laughs> We were, oh, Black Cat, we were talking about our wrists because I had this bracelet that was super small and I was saying it may be for a kid, so we're just not randomly saying. <laughs> and we ended up measuring our wrists. You learn something new every day. <laughs> I'm not the only one, okay? Okay. And then I picked this up. I thought it was really pretty and I thought also it might be something because I didn't have my magnet or my loop with me. Plus, a lot of times when I can see the stones, like they take the time to cut out the back to make the stones like show through the back. Oh my gosh, don't go there. <laughs> don't, don't. I'm trying to stay on task. <laughs> so a lot of times when, they, when I see, yeah, right, I know. I think it, well, the, the chain says Claire's. But I don't think the cross goes with the chain. But it's magnetic and... But anyway, I thought it was still pretty pretty. Pretty pretty? So I might sell it in the booth or something like that. I know, I know. <laughs> okay, a few more things. I think I have one, two, three, four, five. Five more things. I picked up another um, little locket type pendant. I don't see any markings on it. It was just, I figured for 50 cents, why not? I would give it a shot. No, no, no markings. <laughs> I'm doing so well. I should, I'll, I'll reward myself later. <laughs> Someone's saying in the, or Lauren's saying in the chat that I'm controlling myself because people are, they know how easily I'm distracted into innuendo. <laughs> and here we go again with the mushroom. <laughs> yeah, pretty much all the jewelry was 50 cents. A few pieces were a dollar. I spent $18 for everything, including this blue mushroom. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. So isn't this cute? This blue mushroom. 
It's a pin. I think it's adorable. Um, I have called many mushrooms adorable, but this is adorable. Um, yeah. There we go. Cute. Cute. All right, and then I picked up these earrings, and I'll, they reminded me of somebody. <laughs> they, these earrings reminded me of somebody. Let's see if you can figure out who they reminded me of. <laughs> look at Who do they look like? <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see if you guys guess. <laughs> I saw these and I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> they look like me. <laughs> Little red hair, short red hair. I wear skirts all the time. Anyway, yeah. So I was like, oh my gosh, they're me. I can wear my <laughs> earrings of me. <laughs> so I may not be able to sell these. I don't know if I can wear them though. They're not really my style. I just think they're so funny. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> it's me. It's me. But they were fun. Maybe I could auction them off. Texas gal earrings. You can wear me on your ears. <laughs> I picked up another little chain just because it was kind of um, in there, you know. But I, yeah. Magnetized. Well, is that part magnetized or just the hook? Yeah, the chain part's not. The hook part is. So we'll see. You never know. You never, never know. How about this end? Let's find out. That end? That end is. The chain part's not. <sighs> you have the green hearts? <laughs> Thank you for the hearts. Okay, now I saved the best two for last. The best two for last. Was anyone following me? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so here is this. Can you see it okay? This is a pendant, and when I saw it, I knew it had that Native American look. Hi, Purple Willow. I have to double check about the stone, because I'm not exactly sure about that pink stone. And here's the back. It's marked. I don't know if you can see what it's marked. It's um, It says TS925. I think it says Mexico, but I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe. TS-15, so that TS-15, and then it says 925 Mexico, I'm wondering if, you know, some, some designers have a, you know, their signature, you know, that they put on their jewelry, especially like Native, Amer I mean, if it's Mexico, it's, well, I guess Native American, because Mexico is still part of the Americas, right? I don't know. I don't know how you would, right, right? So I'll have to test it. I mean, it does say 925. Um, is that what the TS15 is? I don't know. So I'll have to double check on that one. But then I have some more. These ones I really liked. And I wish I was with my style because these are earrings. And I know that one. Those are malachite. So those are malachite earrings. And they are also marked on the back. I couldn't believe it. You know, WWS Sperling VY. So I will have to look up the maker on those because, um, aren't they pretty? They're just not my style, but I think they're so pretty. Um, Native American jewelry that if you can identify who made it can go for more money. So if it's a signed piece. So, yeah, right? You never know. I was at a church garage sale. This, this all came from, from a church garage sale today. And I was super glad that I uh, went in. And found them. Yeah. There we go. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's it. Thanks for hanging in there and watching my jewelry haul from the church garage sale. I hope you guys have a really good day. I'm not going to get to go out garage selling tomorrow because we're going camping. So I've got to start getting ready for camping trip now. <laughs> Thanks for the hearts, you guys. And I will tack this into a haul video and thank you everybody for coming in and saying hi and bye and it was fun <laughs> oh you don't like camping i'm gonna have a good time <laughs> change your earrings now oh no no i can't i'm not putting those in my ears they're not cleaned <laughs> am i weird <laughs> okay
<laughs> okay, you guys go out and have a good day. I hope you find lots of treasures this weekend, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thanks so much, everybody, for watching the haul and the ride-along. I know you, you couldn't see who was talking, but I, I tried to, to say their names and say what they were saying so you were not just hearing me answer someone that you couldn't see what they were saying. So let me know if you like that format. I want to start doing more on Periscope, but I want to also share with you guys what I'm finding. So I'm trying to find that balance. So we'll try this way and see if me tacking in the Periscope into the haul video works out. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think about that. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, it's cool. I need to know. Um, inquiring minds want to know. Okay, so I hope you guys have a great time this weekend. Find lots of treasures and I will talk to you later. Make sure you go out and enjoy yourselves. Bye.